Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. These messages are timeless, okay? So just because this is coming through for the day of Wednesday, July 3rd, it doesn't mean it has to resonate on that day. It can resonate at any time for you because time is an illusion and energies are fluid, yeah? Um, and also, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, private readings are available. Um, just bear with me because I'm still tying up some loose ends. So uh, I'll be getting to those uh, um, sh shortly, but email me and we'll still get it all planned out and everything like that, okay? All right, guys, so let's just get into it for today. Um, I was doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle and the Five of Wands came out first. Um, and to me, it just, it, it and I actually, I wish I had kind of like left it out because the way it came out or the, the side of the card that came out because I am using the vice versa deck now for these morning coffee readings. So um, the way that it came out, it was depicted as, you know, two people kind of like squaring off, but there was a volcano erupting in the background. So it kind of feels like for some, for some of you out there, for whatever this situation is, it feels like emotions or the situation are coming to a high point, um, <laughs> for lack of a better term, uh, in, you know, in terms of, you know, that volcano that was in the background erupting. Um, emotions are coming really high, becoming really high. It's almost as if somebody's about to blow now, or maybe the situation is about to blow. Now, here's the thing with that, because I was continuing with the pre-shuffle and I was, you know, channeling the message for the day and the King of Pentacles came out and the King of Pentacles has been coming out since Monday, consistently, every day since Monday. However, Monday and Tuesday, his back was turned. It was this way. But today it came out this way. And he's upright, which... I feel like he was reversed yesterday, but he was upright on Monday. And then also yesterday, we had the Six of Swords. And it was this side of the card, but... Oh, my light's not on. But um, it was reversed. Now it's upright. So either... So, like, if you resonated with the reading for Morning Coffee yesterday, which was dated for July 2nd, um, and if you haven't watched it, you might want to watch it now, or at least after you watch this one. Um, but the thing about the thing that I'm feeling about this here is either somebody is finally starting to stand up for themselves um, and is really has gotten to the point where <laughs> where um, they don't either you or somebody they've gotten to the point where they don't really it's almost as if they don't really care. Um, they're just, their emotions are so high, they're so worked up, they're so heated about the situation that, you know, um, a sort of, um, oh gosh, I, I want to say diplomacy, again, for lack of a better term, um, but uh, yeah, a sense of like restraint or diplomacy or something like that or um, um, I don't know, I can't, I can't find the word for it right now, but uh, any sense of anything like that, like keeping the peace or almost being respectful or something like that, any sense of that is going out the window. Now, it doesn't have to lead to a fight. I'm not really seeing too much in the way of, you know, um, really having it out. It's just that with that Five of Wands card that came out with the volcano that was in the background, it just feels like like emotions are coming to a high point. Um, so you may just be coming to the end of your rope here and finally starting to accept your own ability, your own power. Um, with this King of Pentacles energy, I feel like you're really, whoever this is for, you're really stepping into um, a sense of who you are, a sense of what you want, a sense of what you even believe in, 
um, and, and just like anchoring that into your physical form and basically are saying, here I am, this is me, you either take it or you leave it. I'm not trying to fight you, I don't need to fight you, there's no reason for us to fight, but just understand that I'm not going to let you walk all over me with this King of Pentacles energy. This King of Pentacles energy is a very well manifested, very solid, very secure, even financially abundant, physically successful, commercially successful, financially successful, career-wise successful, all of these things. And even if you don't embody all of these things at this moment, or maybe you even don't feel like you embody these things at this moment, that's what the King of Pentacles energy represents. And if you are resonating with this at this moment, I, feel, I really feel like you're drawing from that well of security and foundation that the King of Pentacles represents. And with that, with that sense of stability and security here, there's a sense of moving on, emerging from some sort of darkness. As you, if, if you saw yesterday's reading, um, I described, I, I, I pointed out that in this deck, there are some, there are a few depictions of caves. And in the book, it talks about um, the cave being sort of like a birthing chamber. Um, and, you know, with these people emerging from this cave here, it's as if you have been, you're emerging from some sense of darkness, from, ooh, from, um, from, yes, it could be from some sense of darkness, but it could be, you know, from, I'm going to be honest with you, it does feel kind of like a dark, place in which you were kind of I want I, I just heard led astray so for some of you you were led astray in a sense um, for others of you it's just things were not too clear you were kind of kept in the dark this might be a religious situation um, it also could be a family situation because on the on the other side here you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is in reverse and if you can see here it's this this side of the ten of pentacles is depicted as this you know this young man young woman um maybe a couple um you know standing in front of the patriarch of the family as you can see here this guy standing in front of the patriarch of the family almost like showing respects uh, paying respects or maybe even paying attention getting some guidance something like that but here it's reversed okay so i kind of feel like you're leaving the establishment the patriarchy your family some sort of um maybe even some sort of financial situation a job something that you've been working at for a long time you're leaving this structure this way of being behind because also the ten of pentacles can represent um, something that's well established something that's been running for a long time it can represent being in in something for the long haul, that kind of thing. It, it represents investment, and it really kind of feels like you've you've gotten to this point now where you're good on your own. You actually can't. It's, it really kind of feels like um, a bird leaving the nest, in a sense. You know, like when your kids grow up and whatnot, whatever. Um, and it could just be that you finally got into the point where with this five of wands that came out with that volcano that was erupting in the back, you finally just got into the point where you dead don't care. You straight up don't care. You you are solid in who you are. You don't care about the fear. And I'm getting for some of you that um, there might be someone, someone in your family or someone that you have been really close to, maybe someone that you admire and, and respect and um, you know, they were maybe even somewhat of a mentor. They're kind of filling you with fear. They're almost their ta their their way their tactics or their their method is fear mongering, which is probably something that they learned themselves. And so now you're at a point where it's just like you're just so fed up with a limited point of view, a closed minded point of view, um, any sort of limitation that you're just ready to blow and you're just ready to go. But again, this is not the Five of Swords energy. This is the Five of Wands energy. This feels more like um, you're not trying to actually have it out with somebody. You're not actually trying to fight with somebody. This just feels like the emotions in the background um, just coming to a point where now it's just going to push you forward. This just feels like momentum. Okay, just feels like momentum to get you moving in a new direction. All right. So with that said, 10 minutes in, <laughs> let's get to the rest of the reading. Here we go. 
Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys. Let's see what we get for today. Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. Wednesday, July 3rd. 2019. Oh, geez. Bear with me, guys. I'm still trying to <laughs> get a hang on shuffling this deck here. All right. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got. The Lovers is already... Um, oh, wow. The Lovers and the Four of Wands is already um, catching my attention. All right. So the Lovers here is about a choice, okay? Um, it's Gemini energy, yes, but it's about a choice. And what I'm getting with this is this angel is actually, is coming forward and asking you to choose. Um, <laughs> this card can be looked at sometimes as a choice between ignorance or knowledge, right? Um, and especially with what was coming through in the pre-shuffle, I really feel like an angel, this angel is coming forward, or in this sense, the angel represents the universe, maybe even your higher self, um, but the universe coming forward and asking you, okay, what is it do you want? Do you want to stay ignorantly blissful? Or do you want knowledge? Do you want to learn? Do you want to seek? Do you want to try to understand? Do you want to experience more? The choice is yours, says that angel. On the other side here, you have the four of wands, okay? So this does, this definitely does have, for some of you, this has to do with a home situation, um, family, friends even, your close-knit circle, maybe even your home life in like with roommates or something like that. But also this is established energy. This is a foundation. I really feel like the reason why this is happening for you right now, if this is resonating with you, is because you finally, or you've, you've come to a point where you're very solid. You have a solid foundation, and this is a solid foundation within yourself. This was represented in the King of Pentacles as well that came out. And so now, yes, for some of you, your family life is coming into question. Your home situation your living situation may be coming into question but all of this is happening because you have a solid foundation in yourself within yourself this is not necessarily i'm feeling like this is way more internal this foundation than external and yes four of wands can be a celebratory card yes there is cause for celebration because you have reached the solid foundation within yourself but the work is not done yet. Like, don't rest on your laurels because you still have more to go. You still have more to do from here. And that is what the angel in the lovers here is asking you to choose. What are you going to do next? You have a solid foundation. Great. Celebrate. Have fun. Enjoy. But what are we, going, what are we doing with this foundation here? Okay. All right. Let's see what we've got. Wednesday, July 3rd. There's that Six of Swords again. Oof, Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, the Ten of Swords came out in reverse yesterday. Okay, that's good. Okay, all right, all right. All right, yes, excellent. All right, so you have the world here. The world is in reverse. This is talking about um, a completion of a cycle, okay? The cycle is not quite complete yet. We're gonna find out why in a few moments we're going to try and understand six of swords ten of swords is in reverse two of pentacles nine of swords the oh looky here there's that king of wands there's that king of wands that came out yesterday when he came out yesterday he was face up but he was reversed today he's his back is turned it's nighttime and he's upright 
That feels good. What doesn't feel good is this Queen of Cups in reverse. But these two go together. Oof, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, something is ha something happened. Something happened. Cause now bad blood just popped into my head. Taylor Swift's song. And it's the um it was the this part, it's where she says, It's so sad to think about the good times, you and I. This is this person here. King of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse. King of Wands upright, but back turned. And Queen of Cups face forward, but in reverse. This is whoever, whomever you are leaving behind and whatever that represents. This could be a mother and a father. This could be the father being the King of Wands, the mother being the Queen of Cups. The father has turned his back or the masculine energy here, potentially. If you're dealing with family, this could be your mother and your father, but this is what I, kind of what I'm seeing here. The father has turned his back and his ego and pride are getting in the way just as, much, just as they were, when, they were, when, you were when he was here, right? Yesterday, but now he's here. Ego and pride is still very much getting in the way, but now his back is turned. It's almost as if he's saying, you're dead to me. Whereas the Queen of Cups is showing her face, but she is reversed. And the Queen of Cups reversed is an emotional wreck. Just like the King of Cups was in reverse. I believe it was Monday. But that was you in the process of working on making some sort of change in direction. But it looks like you've, at this point, you've made a choice and you've probably even said something to them, to somebody about it. Now, this could be two people, this could be one person, but whoever, whomever, however this resonates for you, this is the, this, these are the people or the situation, these are the emotions of the people or the situation that you are leaving. Okay, because the seven of, I'm sorry, the six of swords came out again. So I really do feel like you've gone through a period where you're like, whoa, whoa, I get it now. Or, whoa, I see this completely differently now and I need to move in a new direction. Now, the cycle isn't quite over yet. The cycle isn't quite over yet because you do have the world here, which is great, but it's reversed, meaning that it's blocked. There's a blockage here. It's not quite over yet. I do see you trying to step through this portal here, as you, like with the wreath, looks like a portal, into the next, next phase, the next cycle. But there's something that's blocking you. There's something that's blocking you from doing so. You're trying to keep the balance, keep the peace, two of pentacles here. Okay, it's financial. For some of you, it's financial. For some of you, you're having to figure out how you're going to survive. And don't worry about that. Nine of swords. Yes, and if you look at it this way, um, it's as if, all of these challenges, the Nine of Swords representing all of these different swords representing all of the different obstacles or the fears of what might go wrong or what might not work out right. All of the fears are standing in your way from reaching the window, from reaching the outside, from getting out of the stone castle, from getting out of the, conf the, the, the stone prison even, if, if, if that's what it feels like to you. We have the Page of Cups here and the Three of Pentacles. Both of them are in reverse. Now the Page of Cups, this is what the page looks like here. Yes, Page of Cups here, nighttime, starry-eyed. Yeah, looking out into the distance, looking out into the stars, but it's reversed. For some reason, you're not allowing yourself to dream. And with the three of pentacles in reverse here, the message that I'm getting from this is you forgetting what you've learned. You're not allowing yourself at whatever it is that you've experienced, that you've learned, that you've acquired, that's allowed you to get to this point where you're ready to move forward, where you're feeling established in yourself. You're not allowing your childlike wonder 
of looking off into the stars and just dreaming. You're not allowing this childlike innocence and wonder to come forward to help you in this time of need. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This time to rebuild. This time to really craft yourself, craft your environment. It's as if you're allowing whoa for some of you you're allowing the whatever i'm hearing the patriarchal society okay we'll call it that for lack of a better term i guess but you're letting who whomever or whatever you're leaving behind here to influence you still as you move forward it's it's like it's contradictory because you're moving forward and saying well rah 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 I'm strong, I can do this on my own, I'm balanced, I'm, I'm well manifested, I know what I want, blah, 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 blah. But the dreamer energy that is helping you, that has helped you reach this point of being solid and ready and moving forward and closing out the cycle is being rejected. Because now, I get it though, I get it though, because it's this. It's all the fears. Now the practicality is coming forward. And now the pragmat pragmatism is coming forward and saying, all right, look, I gotta double down. I've gotta be serious about this. I've gotta be an adult, this with that and the other. But don't be an adult at the expense of your creative vision. I don't know why I said that weird. Don't, don't allow being an adult or being a grown up or being responsible, blah, 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 to get in the way of your creative vision, to get in the way of your childlike sense of wonder. Your dreamer, the dreamer within. You don't have to stop dreaming. You never have to stop dreaming. And it's almost as if this energy that you're leaving behind here was trying to squash that in you anyway, for whatever reason. I mean, the biggest reason is that they probably learned that themselves. And so they are just going on what they know. So you can't hold that against them. Technically. <laughs> but don't allow, don't, it's, it's so crazy. I don't know how else to say it other than it feels like you're moving forward on your own because you know you can do it and you're ready to do it, but you're leaving, you're allowing that which is making you fed up to still influence you. But it's subtle. Don't feel bad about that. It's subtle. It's kind of hard to see on your own. Because especially at this point, if you're, if you're breaking free, if you're moving on to a brand new location or, or a brand new uh, situation, a brand new environment, you're moving out on your own or something like that, okay, yeah, you have a lot of responsibilities that you now need to take care of. Three of pentacles, two of pentacles. You have a lot more on your plate now. But still allow yourself to dream, okay? And don't lose faith is what I'm hearing. Don't lose faith. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, say, I'm hearing, I just want to go to the Oracle message now. And I really don't think there's a need for clarity. That's literally what I just heard, the Oracle. So we're going to do that. Um, you guys let me know. I mean, it's all already, we're already like 23 minutes <laughs> into the reading, but... You guys let me know if you would rather have a clarification afterwards. Well, you know what? You know what? Actually, I am going to do Oracle. But I want it because also what I wanted to do was get like a final closing message of guidance here moving forward for you. So I'm going to do that really quick. But you guys let me know. Do you like having this clarification? Moving into the oracle or what? I don't, I'm not sure. You just let me know. But let's get some, yeah, some clarification, but ultimately closing guidance from the tarot and then we'll get our, our oracle message for the day. All right, here we go. Closing guidance, please, spirit. Ah, 
All right, guys, look at here. You're stepping into the unknown. This is a unique card in this deck. This is the Crystal Visions deck. And uh, this deck here, the original, the first deck that I'm using, it's the Vice Versa deck, okay? Um, this is Crystal Visions. This is the unknown. This card represents um, going into the flow, excuse me, moving into the unknown. Um, and, and it specifically states, one of the specific phrases is that you're not going to know everything that's coming forward, coming towards you, that's going to happen. You really just need to let go and allow the universe to do its thing. Okay? You're, and so what I'm getting with this here is you're stepping into the unknown. You need to have an open mind about this. Which is why you need to open your mind up more. Now, it makes sense that as that King of Pentacles energy you might be a little closed off. The King of Pentacles can be very rigid, can be very stubborn, can be very logical, you know what I mean? Um, and so I can understand how you might fall into that energy of, no, it's gotta be this way, that way, or that way. You spent so much time wanting to be free and wanting to be a free kid, but now that you have that, you're being more of an adult. Does that make sense? Totally makes sense to me. And it's because of this energy of walking into the unknown now. You know, you, you, you have, you, you're way more responsible now in whatever way that resonates for you. So you gotta, you gotta be practical, but also you gotta be willing to have fun with the universe here, okay? And there you, there you have it here. You have the Eight of Swords, <laughs> wow, with the Ten of Pentacles again. The Ten of Pentacles is here. No, this is the Four of Wands. Oh my God, I didn't even look at this. We didn't even look at the back of this, but looky here, guys. Here's the Four of Wands again. But this time, this time it's the other side of the card. Originally when we saw it, it was this side. But now it's this side. Looking off into the future. What do you want to create for your life? Oh my God, that's so cool. I really love this deck, by the way. Okay, so Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And yes, and then here's the Ten of Swords here. So this really does feel like finance. Um, hold on, let me see what else we have. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, whoa. With, ah, yes, but the Chariot, I like that. Okay, what this is saying is basically you just gotta let you cut yourself loose, cut yourself free from this prison because the Ten of Pentacles here, you learn the lesson. You are deceiving yourself. By allowing, by thinking that you, you, by being afraid of all of the options, by being afraid of all the confusion, by being afraid of basically the chaos. Um, there is, there probably is a good amount of chaos, chaotic energy dealing in this situation um, with the Five of Wands that came out in the very beginning. The Five of Wands to me can be a very chaotic energy. But what you, what is really needed here is just to balance yourself out. Get your emotions in check. Get into, get down to, use, use the practical and pragmatic energy of the King of Pentacles to get solid on yourself. That doesn't mean that you have to stop dreaming. That doesn't mean that you can't be passionate about something. That doesn't mean that you can't want to move in a unique direction. But what you need to do is use that pragmatism to balance out, to get solid, to have, to put, to, to put a plan together, to put a plan in place or as much of a plan as you can and just say, okay, make the decision. I'm going to do this and do it but allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to look at this from some sort of childlike wonder because that's really what's going to keep you motivated. The more you try to be an adult, the more you kill that vibrant energy. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm, I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but like when people reach that adult phase, they're like, oh, did, I don't have time for that childish shit. No, childish, sometimes the energy of a child is exactly what you need. Especially if you're embarking on something new, yeah? 
Okay, Oracle Guidance. Let's get your Oracle card for the day. Alrighty guys, here we go. Best message please, Spirit. For Wednesday, July 3rd. Oracle guidance, closing Oracle message. All right, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Card number 39, Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate. Passion of the Lion Heart. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. We bring you the empowerment of passion of the lion heart. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is, I'm sorry, it is energy that moves from within, I'm sorry, that moves you from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks that you once may not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. And that's, I guess that's the word I should have looked, I, I was looking for earlier when I was describing the five of wands energy. It's passion. And it's just, it's about to erupt because it's just, it's reaching the boiling point. I mean, but this is all part of the design. Now you're getting the motivation to move forward, to stand on your own two feet and to say, this is who I am, this is what I'm doing, take it or leave it, but I have things to do, so I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, guys? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning, yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.